you ever finish a game or a book and then suddenly feel like you're empty inside? Like nothing makes any sense anymore? How does that happen? Why does that happen? How does something fake, something fictional, manage to have so much impact on our emotional state? Oh, we're getting very deep in this week's uh, vlogs. Uh, stick around to see if I can find an answer. But okay, the reason why I'm thinking about this right now is because I've just finished playing Persona 4 Golden for the first time in my life. And I am swimming in a sea of emotions right now. It's ridiculous. The last time this happened was also another Persona game, but that time it was Persona 5 which is the more recent one. In both games, I ended up feeling very attached to the characters. I don't know how fiction is able to do the things that it's able to do. And I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Honestly, knowing that these games are gonna cause me so much emotional turmoil after playing them, I should probably stop playing them, but I guess I'm sadistic enough to keep doing this to myself. This is kind of weird, but I don't have a lot to say today. There's always been something that really intrigues me, how a work of fiction manages to have such an emotional impact on us. Sometimes the kinds of feels you get from these things feel more authentic than the kinds of feelings that you get in real life. And I, I, I don't think that makes a lot of sense, mainly because, well, the real life is real and these video game characters that we feel so dearly about are not real. They are fiction. They don't exist. So what is it that makes them so real? And I think it has to do with the fact that the there are, there are interactions with them are very limited. They are guided. They are designed to solicit such emotional feedback from us. You can't feel about these characters. You cannot connect to them. You cannot care about them if the emotional context of these characters are not basically shoved down your throat so that you would feel something real. The kinds of relationships you have with your friends in real life are spread over the course of significant time, like months, if not years. Whereas in games like Persona, you can have an entire, I don't know, months worth of relationships happen within the course of like a three hour gaming session. Obviously when that happens, your brain doesn't know the difference somehow. It's weird. Your brain doesn't know the difference between three hours of game relations and four months of actual human interaction. At least the moment you stop playing, like in the immediate aftermath of the gaming session, your brain doesn't know what to do with itself. And I think that's where that feeling of emptiness comes from. Well, this emotional connection to video game characters is kind of a new thing in my life, actually. I'm a big fan of Bioware games, and one of the first Bioware games I ever played was Star Wars Nice of the Old Republic, which had a very nice dark side and light side feature to it. So if you did bad things, then you would gain dark side powers and then you would become a Sith. And then if you did good things, then you would become a Jedi. And the storyline would adapt accordingly. If you were like an evil person, then you would get an evil ending. And if you were a good person, you would get a good ending, right? That makes a lot of sense. When I was a kid, playing as a bad guy wasn't all that difficult. It was actually very easy. It was just like fun. I was just like, kill that guy, it's funny. But then, when I came of an age that one could consider to be more mature, I realized that making the bad decisions became much more difficult. For instance, in Mass Effect, again, another Bioware game, there are options for you to either act as a paragon or as a renegade. The meme on the internet, as it were, is that in Mass Effect, the paragon option is to save a puppy, and the renegade option is to kill the puppy and a bunch of orphans. But obviously, that's not always the case. There are, there are more nuances to the kinds of choices you can make in the Mass Effect series, but still, there are some options that I personally find morally impossible to choose. To this day, I have never actually played a renegade playthrough of Mass Effect. I don't even like watching them because they make me feel bad. A lot of the options require you to make some of the characters sad, and I can bear myself to make those characters sad, mainly because I've already had a playthrough of this game as like a paragon where I became like best friends with all of these people, right? With age comes a certain emotional maturity, which lets you enjoy video games more intensely. Immediately after finishing 
a game like Persona 4, you end up feeling terrible. Persona, as a series, is really good in having these very long-winded farewell sequences where you go around the town and say goodbye to every single character that you've met throughout the game. The sad music starts to play and all the characters are crying. For whatever reason, it actually feels like a like a true farewell. It always happens, that always gets me. I don't know. It always makes me feel very, very sad. It, like, it makes me feel like I am leaving myself to this place where I spent hours upon hours of my time just getting to know these people, fighting with them, and just hanging out and having a nice time. And of course, my brain doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is not. Gaming is not just about escapism, but we also want to simulate the real life in a more concentrated way. So yeah, what do you think? How do you feel when you play video games? Do you get emotionally attached to all these characters? Do you feel empty after playing games? If you like this, like it, share it, bop it, twist it, make it, break it, quick upgrade it.